Game Up is a great hard, hard hydration adult drink full of electrolytes, flavor. Dave, give them the stats. Oh, man, you're talking about that lemon lime. You're talking about fruit crunch, orange, and uh, Joe's favorite, great, of course. And uh, it's only 110 calories, so enjoy yourself some Game Up and don't feel guilty about it. 100% now that it's summertime, load that cooler up with some ice, fill it with some Game Up. Big event tomorrow in Scotland, Clash at the Castle, been built up for a little while here. We are going to go down this card, make some predictions. From what I've seen, five matches on the card, and this is where WWE is killing it. You've got Bianca and Jade defending their tag titles against Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, Mm -hmm. and against Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Do you see one of these teams upsetting Bianca and Jade? No. I'm going to go with Bianca and Jade. I think that's the safe money, but... If you were to do something here, I mean, you could have Alba and uh, Isla Dawn say get the win over Zoe and Shayna. They don't have to pin Jade or Bianca. And then you could do some kind of self-destruction of Bianca and Jade. But I just don't see – they haven't built up anything like that. So I don't see why we would take the titles off of Jade or Bianca yet. Um, also, you know, I think uh, Alba – was it Alba Fire? Whose mom? Did you hear about this? Got hit. By a vehicle? No. She died. She passed away. She got uh, while visiting in Orlando uh, on vacation about a month ago, I guess. Uh, she, uh, Her mom got hit by a car and killed. And I was kind of wondering, like, you know, if this is going to be like an emotional thing even more now, if this crowd's going to connect uh, for these two. So it's an interesting development. Art imitates life. Unfortunately, um, I'm sure, you know, this poor girl's trying to bounce back in her real life here but i just i do wonder if there's this match is going to end up having a little more connection with the crowd for the people who may know about this well also alba fire isla dawn they are scottish i believe yeah. so they're kind of like that hometown representation i don't see bianca and jade losing it but i see yeah, I maybe can. maybe somehow something that's going to happen here could lead to a crack in the relationship that over time might expand but i yeah, I don't see the tag titles being dropped. A good question if a title will be dropped. Sami Zayn, Chad Gable, mm. a great story they've been telling Yeah, since Sami went for that Intercontinental Championship. I'm going to call an upset on this. I feel like Gable is going to get that championship, and then we're going to have Sami with a chase for Gable after that. I know Gable's contract is up. I think they feel like they're going to have him sign. So I think that'll be very interesting to how that plays in this match possibly too. I keep feeling like I want Gable to win this, but is it that I want Gable to win? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like Sammy just got this title, but then I keep thinking one way to go about it is they keep having Otis and all of these guys look like they're the abused ones or getting manipulated. But what if Otis at the last minute? No, I take Sammy Zane's head off with a clothesline. We lay him out. And now Chad's the intercontinental champion and he's got this, entourage fully in his corner and uh he was the master manipulator all the time so i have thought about that i guess i'm gonna go i'm gonna agree with you even though part of me thinks i'm going with my heart here but we we'll go with check another match that i think it's gonna be a little easier to pick but once again home country playing into this bailey defending the wwe women's championship against piper niven it's gonna be a great match mm-hmm. i think this match could steal the show yeah but it's got to be Bailey with the win. I can't argue there. I can't argue there. I got to go Bailey. Do you think Chad? Well, let's get to that because we're still got <laughs> some more. Man, we already said we do think Chad Gable's winning the Intercontinental Championship, though. Yes. Uh, next up, Cody Rhodes versus AJ Styles. I quit match for the undisputed WWE Championship. There's going to be no title change in this. This is going to be great match. Once again, this could also quite possibly steal the show, but Cody's not losing to AJ. Uh, no, no, he's not. I love this match because uh, as soon as I hear Cody and AJ are in an I quit match, I just get Terry Funk, Ric Flair vibes because, you know, both former NWA champions in their own right. And I just I quit. I don't know. I just like I love that. But yeah, I got to go, Cody. You, you're not taking that title off him yet. And before we get to this last match, I might be checking out against all odds tonight. I have to see what's on the card, but. TNA has been very good with what they've put out. It's gotten very exciting with all the crossover. 
And yes, we are still doing commentary. Check out New Heights Wrestling on YouTube. We have an event that we're going to be calling very soon. And then a follow-up event at the end of the month. Very exciting things happening with New Heights Wrestling. We can't wait to dig back into that. What looks like it's listed as the main event. Damian Priest, Drew McIntyre, World Heavyweight Championship. On the face of it, you'd like to think Drew's winning. Mm -hmm. But does CM Punk show up in Scotland to cross Drew the match and further push that feud along that's been going on anyways? What do you think? Damian Priest, not the greatest World Heavyweight Champion. No, he just got it. Yeah, and that's why like he still that. had it such a short amount of time Yeah, that maybe they have it where it looks like Drew won, but we get a dusty finish where it gets reversed. Somehow CM Punk is in there. I think CM Punk is going to involve himself, Yeah, and we're going to start getting Drew and CM Punk going forward to SummerSlam. Now, that's pick- tough because that's the old Vince McMahon thing. People don't win in their home country. So I'm like... Huh? I'm putting it 55, like a little more in the chances of Damian winning. I'm going to go with McIntyre, but I think it's really close. I don't like this match for this reason, because I feel like Damian is doing okay, but he just had the title. So there's no real substance to this reign yet. And Drew, how many times are we going to screw the guy over in his time? Like it's, you know, or how many times he's going to get stuff ripped from him, whether it's the pandemic, whether it's money in the bank, whether it's his hometown. It's just like, is he a heel or is he a face? Because I'm starting to feel bad for this guy, <laughs> you know? So he played a face pretty much on Raw this week, and I know he'll be a face this weekend in front of his home fans. So for that reason, I'm going to slightly lean towards Drew. This will be the match we disagree on because we have to have one we disagree on. And uh, I will slightly lean towards Drew, and I will say that Punk will play a part in this, but it will lead to when they get back to the States – and I don't know, maybe they'll go in a different direction where Punk ends up being the heel or Drew is. I don't know. They have a couple things they can go with here either way.